That someday I'll tell you without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day not doing heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day I'll stop talking so much shit about the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words
warden or on a BART policeman. Urine speaks louder than words. Where? What? <coughs> I swear. That was, uh, nothing. That was nothing. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, that's going to be bad. <coughs> that's going to be bad. <clears throat> I'm well and truly dilated, like flush. Uh, vasodilation. Uh, I'm fresh off a of workout, dude. I'm fucking... <gasps> I'm fucking swole right now. <clears throat> um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's going to... Dude, I can already feel that. That's going to be a thing. Oh, the night... <laughs> the night streams. <clears throat> the after dark streams. I swear to God. Yeah, I know. Uh, Kaiser, I'll, 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 I'll get... Uh, I've got the at-home kit. Amorous, is the bot down again? I meant to speak to you about that. Do I need to just host it myself or something, Amorous? I don't mind. Like, it's no skin off my back, but... I wanted to add, um some abortion plan C uh, Dell M kit plan C sources and stuff to it um and uh, yeah I was like oh it's down again so oh uh, fuck me let's all just take a minute so Kai can catch up to his high this is just all um <laughs> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The things I do, the things I do. Oh, fucking how is everybody? Hey, Alex. Um, I know Dig is drunk. Uh, good morning, Joe. Starting your work day in 20 minutes. Carpenting. <laughs> Carpenting is rough, but kind of fun. Uh, hey, McSecular. Um, <clears throat> yeah, beast, basically. Hold on, let me get high as balls too, says Aspen. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm, it's not even fucking 8 a.m. yet. I don't need a minute. I need a migraine tablet, says Alex. What's up, level? Hey, Puka. Um, it's the After Dark Show. I'm fresh off a of workout, and I just took a bong rip of perfectly legal government-authorized tobacco. So, <laughs> shit's, shit's getting interesting real fast for Kai up in this bitch. Um... Oh, I've doubled up my workouts now, officially. Um, I, I've, I've sort of, um, no, carpenting is not a word, Joe. <laughs> uh, I, we would probably say doing carpentry is probably how a, a native speaker would probably just default to. We'd probably say, you know, doing carpentry is a lot of fucking work. That's, that's probably how we would, a native English speaker would probably say it. Um... <clears throat> Apparently the bong rip was the size of Africa. Okay, this is this is a hundred percent. This is a hundred percent perfectly legal tobacco water pipe. Yeah, it needs a cleaning, but like, you know, it um, <clears throat> it does the job. Um. Yeah, we, we could drop the doing as well. It's so bad, I don't party during the week. Ah, uh, Dig, what'd you do? Dig, what'd you, how'd you end up in that situation? Carpentr uh, carpentration. I, you know what? I kind of approve. I kind of approve that change. Carpentration. That's, that's the word. That's the word. Level's right. The word is carpentration. Doing carpentration. That's carpentration you're doing over there. What's he? What's that guy up to? Carpentration. I like it. Um. <laughs> Carpentrate me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Aspen. <laughs> oh, fuck it, eh? So, oh God, really? Just no. Like, does anybody have a fucking, hold on. I'm just looking for an article here and it's fucking gated. Like, ugh, God. Um, so is this like official? I'm looking at an article. I'm looking for an article basically. <clears throat> Okay, so it's nothing official. It's just fucking the same shit. Okay. There's a headline going around saying Scientology accused of child trafficking and forced labor of Australians. 
which by the way has been going on since the 70s but i was like is there something official here no just three australians have said they're child trafficking and fucking you know for and forcing labor out of the duh they're scientologists they've been doing that since always always the answer is always scientologists have always been doing that (laughs) that was the grift that was part of the grift was i want some slave labor too while i'm doing this That's, dude, Sea Org and all that shit the Scientologists get up to. They've always, you know, but yeah, I was like, is it an official thing? No, just just three more people with, you know, testimony. Like, oh, by the way, they're doing that. We all know. Somebody just do something about it. What you you think L. Ron was doing on that private boat, said Vestical. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. In addition to the, the pedo thing, we're going to end up having to do a cult thing. Uh, carpentration. No bare floors. Don't, <laughs> don't give a fuck if my shoes are dirty. Uh, oh, dude, they got up all sorts of crazy shit out there. Uh, Elrond looks scary on those <laughs> yachts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, the, the, all that shit. That's why I was, I was fascinated. I was like, for a second, I'm like, holy shit, is somebody finally going to do something about this? No, no, just three residents of Australia. Uh, oh, they're suing them. They're, they're attempting to sue them. Uh, fighting Scientology in court. <clears throat> That's kind of like their home turf. That's like home field advantage for Scientologists. Dude, they do their best work legally. Dude, that's, that's, they figured that shit out. Dude, that's how they, they browbeat the IRS into recognizing them as a fucking legal religion. They basically threaten them with infinite lawsuits. From all sorts of disparate people across society rich and powerful well-connected people we will bombard you it's just ready to go it's just ready to go now how about you give us that legal religious status cool dude they straight extorted the fucking u.s federal fucking government the irs by the way the irs one of the scariest fucking organizations we run. <laughs> fucking, they will destroy you, right? They kick the shit out of the IRS. Legally, fucking with the Scientologists is difficult. They have a lot of good fucking attorneys and they're not afraid of playing exceedingly dirty. They don't give a shit. They got no fucking qualms about playing the game the the way you play it if you want to move that ball that fast (laughs) they got a lot of fucking money and power behind them and they just kick the shit out of them we will sue you into the ground forever we will tie this up in court forever what are you gonna do we will be a an eternal thorn in your side or just grant us our status. <clears throat> Good luck to those three people. Taking Scientology to court? Dude, that's a bullseye on your back. Dude, they, they, they disappear people. Scientology's, dude, they're playing the game. Like, the game game, right? Like, for, for, for forget all that shit, right? Like, you... The one that runs this world. That game. They're playing that game. For real. They get out there and do it. They, any cost. Any cost. Whatever. We're here to win it. We want billions. We want unchecked power. We want in on that game. It's there. It happens. It's, you know. Yeah. Scientology fucking dude. Elrond straight up said he was a science he's a failed science fiction author. He said, I want to make a religion. Eh, voila. Scientology. 
I mean, game recognizes game. Dude, that was a baller play. The dude made that shit happen. And then Miscavige. Miscavige is a psychopath. Miscavige is a full, full, full maladjusted human being. And he's the successor to the throne. Dude, he moved that ball. Dude, he didn't give a shit. Fucking Shelly's getting too mouthy. Go on. Fucking, dude, they... Miscavige is a fucking nut job. That dude puts in the work. Yeah. Dude, Scientology is... They're playing the game. Oh, where's David Miscavige's wife? She's not been seen in more, a decade or more. Dude, as far as I know, she's being held alive at that facility, right? Like, that's the... That's the the current most seemingly accurate information that has been achievable in this world is that Shelly Miscavige is like being held in this house somewhere and we know where the house is. People have like walked the perimeter of it and like there's this place that Shelly Miscavige is being held. Like she's just, she's on house arrest basically, apparently. And then they have those trailers they just send people to. If they get, like, too questiony or too out there, they just put them in a work camp. They'll just put them in a full-on work camp. We give you minimal food. We abuse you emotionally and physically. And you build shit for us. Or you work a hard day's labor. They put them in a work camp. Or you're going to end up out on the right boat. That fucking Sea Org shit and those yachts, dude, that, those are, dude, those are, those are rape boats. You know that, right? Like that, that's a rape boat. We've, we've heard all sorts of crazy ass stories about those fucking, the Sea Org and those yachts. Dude, Scientology is playing that game. Shit's crazy. Some people out there doing it. Dude, the Vatican did it. Gover your governments did it. Everybody's played that game to some extent. Like, the power organizations of the world. Like, everybody gets in on that game. And it's... Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy to see. Like, it kind of happened close enough to in my lifetime, right? Like, there's motherfuckers walking around that, like, they, they witnessed Scientology. Like, Scientology happened in their lifetime. Like, they could just be like, yeah. And then, like, there was this thing, and it was on the news one night, and didn't really pay much attention to you. Fucking then all of a sudden, you're like, what? And you hear Tom Cruise, who? Fuck. Yeah. This shit just sort of started to permeate. And you're like, holy shit. Scientology made moves. We need rich. We need powerful. We need famous. And we need ruthless. We need people who do not give a shit, who know just how to like stay within close enough of the lines that they can get away with it. And you can see how they can manipulate that system so effectively. Dude, that Danny Masterson shit is crazy as fuck. Dude, that dude rape, dude, hide from that 70s show is like a full on rapist. Like, you know that, right? Like, that motherfucker's been out there raping, allegedly. He's been out there raping for like fucking years and everybody's known about it. Scientology's just been covering his ass. Left, right, and center. Shit gets wild out there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Caboose, we're shitting on fucking... Did you hear about the, the refit in the 80s, the cruise ships? No, I didn't, non-binary. Um... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, the UK lost their right to uh, assemble. I, you know. <laughs> I, Alex and I were talking about it earlier. You know. Yeah. Like, they lost their right to assemble. Well, you know. If anybody was paying attention. Or, I'm sorry. They lost their privilege to assemble. <clears throat> they didn't have a right to assemble. They lost their uh, privilege to assemble. Um, but, you know. That's a thing. Just... So, you know, <laughs> um, 
Uh, <clears throat> also, something involving citizenship protections. Oh, and now they can't vote without photo IDs. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, that happened. I happened to the U.S. a while back. <clears throat> I did point that out. I was like, yeah, under Bush Jr., when we were uh, we were trying to protest back then, dude, we got corralled into free speech zones. Yeah. <clears throat> that was, dude, that was a, we, we've managed to push back on that one a little bit. But yeah, dude, that was under board, Borge, under Borge, under Borge Jush, uh, under Borge Jush, um, Jr., um, I, you know, yeah, they, um, like the various protests of those meetings, like the DNC, uh, fucking CPAC, G8, all that sort of stuff. If there was any sort of NATO meeting, like it would all get protested. <clears throat> but after that 9-11 shit, homie, they didn't play. Yeah, they, they fucking straight up set like chain linked areas and that was the the free speech zone and you're like you're corralled in there in a twenty by forty fucking chain link just cage, basically, and that's the free speech zone. Like stay the fuck over there. That's where you can protest. You protest outside that will consider you a fucking enemy of the state. Will <laughs> fucking God knows what they they would have done. Right? So Yeah. Like, I, I, I commiserated. I'm like, yeah, I feel that. We we managed to push that one back a ways. But there was a moment. There was a moment there where we were fucking in cages and you wanted to protest. It was... Shit, got, shit gets real out there. Um, Borge Jush. Yes, Borge Jush Jr. Uh, any British citizen citizenship can have their citizenship. Any British citizen can have their citizenship revoked for any reason without explanation, even if born here. Oh, uh, y'all be fucked. Good luck with that. It's dude. We just drone strike them, then just fucking tap dance. We don't remove their citizenship. Like there's no, like dude. We get close sometimes. There's been some shit passed under Trump. They they got it got sketchy. What? Yeah, dude, that's just full on. They're like, there's a process, but we won't tell you about it. And yeah, like if it happens to you, it just happens to you. Like, that's just like, oh shit. Yeah, that's like some straight up actual Orwell shit. Like that's, a, that's very, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's very Kafka-esque slash Orwellian. Oh, it's just shoot, shoot me now. Uh Back in the 80s, Scientology to uh, buy uh, oh, oh, to buy old crew ships for training. They needed to refit them, but all old ships got a shit ton of asbestos. They took the ship to the Caribbean, started ripping this ship apart. No masks, no PPE, nothing. The authorities got word and shut it down. They ended up getting a German company to inspect the ship, and it ended up costing a few million to redo it all and refit it properly. Uh, that's about right. It's about right. It's about right. Fuck it. Just throw some human lives at it. Dude, they're playing that game. Haven't heard the term Kafka. in a while. Dude, I feel, I feel like such a hack. I feel like such a hack, but it is. Like, there's, there's like a process and you can't be privy to it. But if you're guilty of it, you're just guilty of it. And there's no recourse. There's nothing you can, there's nothing. Like, it's, it's completely opaque to you. And yet, the the ramifications of it of being de citizens uh, de, de, to to be to having your citizenship revoked that's dude that's against so many international laws. That's against so many international laws. Like that's dude we've we've like all agreed to that that you can't just stateless a person. That that's not a thing. We're, we're like, basically everybody is on board with that. There's some holdouts, but I mean, even the U.S. is like, you just can't just stateless someone. Like, that's, that's, not, that's not 
like there's so many international treaties and laws about that. And you guys are like directly in violation of them now, potentially. That's dude, there's gotta be some fucking shit that's gotta be coming back. There's gotta be backlash for that. Because that's yeah, to just rev you're not a citizen anymore. Doesn't matter if your parents were citizens here. It doesn't matter if you were born here. You're not here. You're not one of us anymore. Uh, how, how, what happened? What, is there a trial? Was there at a board meeting? Did you post it somewhere? No, it just, it happens. Well, how does the process work? We can't tell you. Are there like people involved? Is it computers? Like, how is this decided? You're not allowed to know. What? That's, dude, that's, that's, that's multiple layers of crazy. That's multiple layers of crazy. Like, that's, I can't. What's up, in, what's up, impossible? Um, that's funny because in high school, I was taught removal of citizenship was one of the greatest injustices of the pre World War II era, says Fratus. Yeah, like, that's, that's insane on so many levels. Uh, Marcus, my favorite was after the strike that killed uh, Anwar al -Awlaki. Eric Holder responded to a journalist by saying, due process doesn't mean judicial process. He received due process. Yeah. Like, they just did, like, yeah, we fucking assassinated that dude. You know, like, we just sort of fucking roll with it sometimes. To fucking, yeah, to, 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 to formalize that, to codify that, that's a little freaky. That's a little freaky. I'd I'd be I'd be twitchy if I were y'all. By the way, yeah, you're in a rough position. Look, all I'm gonna say is um, that's the kind of shit that Americans like are like fundamentally kind of freaked out about. That gets most Americans. Dude, that gets most Americans going. Like that's, dude, that's one of those things that like, it, it doesn't matter how you will never not be of this culture. If you are of this country, if you are born here, you live here, you spend enough years here. You, you are of this country. There's, there's a shared culture and part of that taps into a part of like Americanness. That's like still kind of fresh for us. Everybody always makes fun of America and goes like, you know, you guys are like barely a country. You're so young, right? Yeah. And in that time we did, we got up some wacky shit and kind of sorted in some ways that, you know, we brought our own spin to the game. Shall we say culturally speaking, warfare wise, you know, you don't end up with a military this big and not be good at doing some shit, right? Like that's, I mean, this is just basic calculus. I prefer it not exist, but just a realist survey of the land. Yeah, yeah. And that sort of thing freaks Americans out. You guys are like completely disarmed as a populace, like functionally. And now they're doing shit like we can just revoke your citizenship at any time because, you know, like, as an American that, that taps into a part of like our brain and we're like, I mean, it's kind of what we were talking about. Like, this, these fuckers, they're playing for keeps. Shit's real out there. These pressures are real. This is not, you know, yeah. Motherfuckers die because they have to ration their insulin and shit. Right? Like, that's, yeah. There's bodies on this one. There always are. So, 
it's it's that's a little scary that's a little scary hmm. <laughs> yeah red yeah it, it's I, I mean, I agree, Im impossible. <laughs> As I knight you, impossible politics, Jesus Christ. Um, the salons, the pubs, the central com communal houses where people used to speak. The motherfuckers would get up after a pint or two. And make declarative statements to a tavern full of people. That needs to exist. In a digital age, it takes a different form. That's all. I, you know, welcome to it. I mean, Beast, I agree. If we could get people over to, like, open source solutions for that sort of stuff, we could build better systems. Because we they already exist. And I mean, functionally, I should be using them more. I should be a proponent of them. Proponent of them. Here's, here's the thing. Nobody uses it. <laughs> That's, at, at this point, the, the, the market saturation is it's dude it's it's rough it's rough nice aspen um xo i think it's still in the well i could be open to um seeing that a couple of different ways there's, I, I, no, no, we burned a whole bunch of fucking, uh, cities because of online politics. I, 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 I don't, if, okay, so I'm, I'm hmm, worth, worth, worth is my hang up on that one. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. Like, um. I think online politics, I think, to, I think online and offline is, I think that's an antiquated thing, thing. I understand that ha like half the, the globe is not online for the half that is online. I think that I think we need to get past the idea of online offline sort of thing. It's permeated our lives. It's it's a vestigial organ to some extent or another in one way shape or form. It's a it's on the culture. So like politics is just politics at this point, I think. Um so you're sticking in terms of electoral politics? I mean No, I th I think it I think it, it it is an element of shaping it. Um, but yeah, I, th I think at this point, I think it's just, a, it's going to be a varying percentage at all times. Sometimes a bigger percentage, sometimes a smaller percentage, but it's always a percentage. And I, I think that the, we're past a point in human techno evolutionary, you know, standards where we can sort of, I think we can start accepting that this is, this is like eyeglasses for our society. We're, we're, this is a technology that is going to, yeah, we're, we're just going to wear it. Yeah. I mean, isn't it arguable that Trump, Trump's entire presidency was the effect of online politics? Is Fox news and Murdoch media, not just 
an element, an extension, tapped into and manipulating and using just as much as they t- their websites and their YouTube clips are distributed in greater number than their fucking actual stupid cable TV news channel. All right? Like, I think the Trump presidency is literally a direct result of online politics. Dig, but due to the um, mesh network like nature of our societal uh, structure, we are a group. We we are a, we are a tribal being. The saturation will reach you even if you're completely offline. That's the power of the 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 internet in its current iteration, it will get more and more. It's not going to cut back. Um, this is a technology we're bringing into us. We, we, we will embed this technology. That's, that's the target, is to make this seamless. We, we want a hive mind. We want at least a part of it. We want, we want to be able to just consult it on a whim. Think to yourself, you know, what were the actual, we want the matrix. We want it. Like that's, that's the target. And so, I mean, that's what all that neural mesh talk is about. Like that's, that's the, the, dude, it's not happening anywhere near our lifetimes, but that's the goal. There are motherfuckers dead that, you know, were around for the first computers, like proper, what we would recognize as, you know, a proper modern computer. They didn't live to see this shit, right? But this, I mean, this shit is, how many times have we said this? Like the shit in your hand is how much more powerful than the Apollo computer? We can get to the moon with basic calculations. Dude, that shit, we're going to get augmented reality contact lenses or something that connect wirelessly to our handheld device. And we'll have heads up display we'll have you know yeah like that's that's the direction we're headed it doesn't take a brilliant technologist to, or a futurist to recognize that we're headed there um so like yeah i i, th- I think that at this point like the 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 it's a percentage it's it's a percentage like the 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 ramifications of what happens online in the real world it's an undeniable effect at this point so it's just a matter of to what degree and to whom i suppose Um, impossible. The technologists are trying. The technologists are trying. That's, dude, you know, you know who you want to support, like groups like the EFF. Um, the technologists are trying. Um, legitimately, if you watch the, the sort of tone and direction of just open source projects and it, it they're trying. Um, there's some really good security focused platforms out there. There's some really good security minded communications platforms out there. There's, you know, it's the mesh networking technology of net, uh, of that sort of stuff for a worthwhile investment, a small neighborhood a gr- like a cluster of houses could easily set up some very interesting and complex 
network arrangements amongst themselves in the digital era using completely open source platforms, you know, after the hardware, even maybe possibly some of the hardware. Um, you could DIY some of those antennas. Um, either way, like it, it's, they're trying. They're trying to change the protocols. They're trying to change the platforms. They're trying to change the, the manner. But it, it, there's a there's more steps involved for technology penetration than a lot of other technologies. When you take into account the open source to proprietary adoption route that it has to travel, because what you're doing is baiting out the fucking corporations and shit. You're just like, hey, Apple, it's we did a lot of hard work on a communications protocol, and it's really kind of becoming some of the de facto stuff at the network level. You might want to adopt it. Oh, by the way, you can't. There's no backdoor. Like, you can't. There's just no functional. Mathematically speaking, we've written it out. That's that's how you do that. That's that's you sort of you use open source infiltration and it becomes that sort of adopted by a whole bunch of platforms and the smaller platforms and then medium platforms and because it's more secure by default because it has been done by IT sec pros and that sort of thing that who are security conscious and minded that is how a lot of this gets done. So it goes through some extra steps trying to get it into the corporations but it does work. It does work. Oh, thoughts on some of the feasibility of something like Google Glass happening anytime? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Google dropped the ball on augmented reality. Yeah, yeah, impossible. Yeah, I did. Uh, I spent a bunch of years as a consultant and a bunch of years doing in, it. Was a fucking, it was a long and windy and weird road to get where I got to the point of burnout. Um, Google dropped the ball. Google made a fucking shit product. Um, that was it. They made a shit product. Dude, the aesthetics were terrible. It was ugly. It was goofy looking. It was dumb looking. Apple should have been the first to market with that. Apple should have been the first to market with that. Apple would have had the style down. They would have understood. And they would have made it cool. You need you, the, the cool people in society took one look at Google Glass and said, fuck that. It's that simple. We all we all took one look at that and said, that shit is dorky as fuck. Like. Nope, nobody wants that. Dude, Apple, Apple would have done that better. Yeah. But Apple doesn't take that for kind of first swing. They always wait for somebody else to take the risk, and then they come out with something that be something better. It's fucking dude. They don't they don't play that game. Uh, tech support. Google fucked up on badly on Glass. Apple did a watch back in the eighties. Um, technology was not there yet. Apple would have survived the first uh, uh, would have survived the first shitty iterations. I uh, found it finally. The story is off the fucking wall. Oh, the Danny Masterson rape uh, rape case. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. There's a whole bunch of fucking. It's crazy as shit, right? You went through it, didn't you? No, minor. Yeah, it is. It's crazy as shit. Like the the fucking weren't they like killing pets and shit too? Like it was. It's wacky as shit. The whole story. Maybe we'll go through it. Um. Yep, backdoors are just big red hack me signs. Exactly. Didn't someone come out with a concept for contacts like that yet? Or yet? No, I'm thinking of the movies. No, dig. There, there is work on um, screen, uh, computer screen um, contact lenses. Like that's that's a thing. Um, they exist. Um, like they're they they actually exist. Um, but like they're deep deep in uh, prototyping territory. They're, they're, they're well in the research and development phase, but there's hundreds of millions of dollars being ponied up at a time sometimes for, for companies that are working on this. Um, and the technology does technically exist. Yeah. Um, you, the people have warned them. They, they, they exist, but they're apparently <laughs> you don't want to wear them. Um, and so, yeah. Um, that's because Apple doesn't invent anything. They steal other people's inventions and improve them a bit enough not to, to not violate patents, but it's still other people's work. Yeah. I mean, what great artists borrow, uh, good artists borrow, great artists steal. 
just is what it is. Dude, Wozniak had like one bit of like spark of genius. Dude, the fuck building those computers in the garage. Fucking Woz, Woz, that phase of Apple, Woz is a fucking goddamn genius. There's no way around that. He's brilliant. Um, but once Apple became Apple, right? The Apple that we know today sort of thing. Like once that trajectory was set, dude, you know, fucking, yeah. You get, you get a certain point, you're like, dude, we can't just lean on one dude. The corporation takes over. Yeah. What, what's the logic? Don't take the risk. Let that other idiot take the risk. We'll buy a bar, we'll beg, borrow, and steal their uh, technology. We'll buy it from the, the manufacturer that they ship it off to. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll improve it. <laughs> it's, it, there's, it made them a trillion dollar company. It fucking worked. Uh, didn't they try to kidnap a federal judge and kill the judge's dog? I mean, no, it, it is a crazy fucking story, isn't it, Hot Biter? We'll go, th we'll go through it. Um, they're bionic eyeballs for people who have been blinded too. I can imagine some combination of technology working on those two. Yeah, um, and the, the, the like neuro implants that we've been doing. Like I forget how many, what, what pixel density they're up to, but yeah, you can literally, we can fucking connect a camera to somebody's brain. You know that, right? Like that's just technology that exists. That's a thing. Like that's just a thing. We, we have bionic eyes. They're terrible resolution at this point. There we have like it's, but we can do it. Um, imagine the amount of people who walk into traffic on Google Glasses to look at a Pokemon Go. They literally have every reminder for players to pay attention. Crimson, it would have to be the dude. Augmented reality will have to have a whole different design spec to it. Yeah, it'll it augmented reality stuff will have to be. We will. It, yeah, there will have to be like some actual probably science, like the hard science behind figuring out the, the UX UI for an augmented reality system that is just, just right. It's going to be work. Yeah, some motherfucker's going to walk into traffic for sure. Yeah, that's just going to happen. <laughs> we'll take that one on the chin. Oh, those first iterations. I had a I had a three G through my uh, through my employer at the time. Um, <laughs> let's best part. Let's patent everything we do and litigate the hell out of everyone. Yeah, dude, in the repair process, I mean, it's a whole fucking thing. Just give me cyclist glasses that do the Google Glass and TV ads with a dude perving on his coworker during uh, peak me too. Uh, suck it the rest of the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if augmented reality becomes more common, schools need to start teaching post-structuralism. <laughs> What's that? Look, Excel, you, you don't need to go that far. <laughs> um, yeah, astral. Yeah, it would have to. It would have to have alarms. It would have to have ways of. It, once somebody, you could get somebody to just freeze, basically, if you fucking train them well enough, right? Like if the right, if there's a consistent icon or methodology of display or something that like you can instantly see in your vision, but doesn't obscure everything. And like, this truly is the, the like, fuck stop, like Q. Like, yeah, motherfuckers, like, as long as that's consistent, you could get people trained. So that when that cue code goes off, fucking, they just, you know, fucking tense right up. Like, yeah, like, you could, you can get people there. You just have to be consistent. And that's the thing is fucking, it would, it, proprietary systems wouldn't, Samsung would have their own, like, icon and but you wouldn't if you're a new user it's just there needs to be open source specs on on whatever that that looks like oh yeah hackers gonna fucking uh 
Uh, Caleb uh, had the stomach flu or something. Fucked his sleep schedule. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, oh, jeez, nightmares. Uh, apparently, a uh, sad story for some of the bionic eyes. One of the first companies that were doing it is basically gone now, and this bionic hardware is breaking for people, and there's no way to fix it. Another mark against proprietary technologies and why it should all be open sourced. Every single project should be like requisite open sourced. I, I think every single technological development, I think every scientific development, I think every single thing moving forward from the information age should be classified as human information. I really do believe that with all of my being. Um, fuck profit, fuck your system, fuck everything. This is about something so much bigger at that point. Um, none of that matters in the scale that, that like that sort of thing would needs to be implemented for. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, Pav it would be Pavlovian. It would, um, Open source. Uh, fuck my uncle Pat's. Yeah, for sure. Like how in driving school they teach you to uh, slam the brakes when you hear someone say stop. Like, yeah, exactly, Crimson. Like you could you could train motherfuckers up with augmented reality so you could potentially prevent some of that stuff. Oh, yeah, no, Astral. It's It's got to be run through. Uh, no more to Bluetooth pacemakers, goddammit. I mean, that was a bad idea to start with. Amorous open source, that's communism. We have to make everything proprietary and let Daddy Elon run it the best way possible. <laughs> um, wish humanity would... Uh, that is what it is. It could have been from the Great Reset. I don't know. All sorts of stuff breaks when they put you on a fucking suspension list. Um... Impossible. I wish humanity would dissolve borders, merge scientific fields across country, uh, countries and worked as a team to make humanity super tech advanced. You know, perfect outcome, but even that would kick someone in the face, I'm sure. Yeah, that's, dude, that's, I, I, technology just gave that to me. That was just an automatic gift from growing up next to computers and literally coming of age with the internet. Like, the internet and I are basically kind of, like, as far as culturally speaking, the internet and I are basically the same age. Um, so like, dude, that AOL was just coming in when I was fucking, you know, starting to, starting to get fucking boners and figure my shit out. Right. Like that's dude, that that's, it was, I came up with it. Right. I remember BBSs before that and fucking, oh God, 300 baud modems and shit like that. Um, right. Like that, that's, I, 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 I like the hive mind. I do. I, I, I don't want it to be like, I don't want us to go Borg. I just want us to have it as a resource. I want it to be a, another sense that we add to our being. I came up with the internet. I, I actually do believe in it. I'm not a big fan of its current layout and iteration, but it's not like it's lost. It's not by a long shot. Fucking the open source nerds still run this shit. It's still, there's dark, weird, fucked up corners of it still um, that, like, are functionally untouchable. It's, yeah, like, a big fan. And so, yeah, I, th I think that, like, we just, you know, we just add it as this thing we can turn on and off. Like, opening and closing your eyes. Like, oh, shit, what was the hive mind to think about that? <laughs> I could use, I could use all of the opinions. Jesus Christ, I went fucking. Uh, no, I don't drink coffee, dig. Sorry. I drink tea, though. Um, Aspen, holy shit, same guy. Yeah, that's... Um, uh, what's up, Rich? Uh, let's see. Kai, the Bluetooth pacemakers are already real. People are walking around with pu uh, published owner. Oh, no, no, I know they're real. Uh, tech support, I just said... Uh, I think what I said was sh that shouldn't have happened. Like that's, it's just, no. Yeah. I, I, yeah. No, I, yeah. Wirelessly communicable systems when integrated. It, 
into biology, certain subsystems should never be, uh, should never bridge the air gap. Pacemakers in that that camp. That's did some some of the the cyborg technologies we're going to run should be air gapped. And fucking a few Bluetooth pacemakers got made. Which is, you know, a great idea. You know, and all that. But no, this shouldn't have happened. Um I'm working on a long-term project on creating a series of YouTube videos or podcasts that will go on the links between Thatcherism and Brexit, how it included the media sensationalism show in the 2010s and demonized the working class here, like uh, Shameless and Benefit Street and Jeremy Kyle. Okay, hang on. I've, I've watched a couple of episodes of the U.S. Shameless. I've watched all of Shameless UK. <laughs> The U.S. version is, it doesn't translate correctly. I've watched all of the U.K. fucking shape list. Um, did I miss the boat? Was that supposed to be a demonization of the working class? Because all I saw was awesomeness. Like, yeah, there was some fucked up shit, but that fucking, like... Was that actually supposed to be a demonization? I'm not kidding you. Was Shameless supposed to be a demonization of the, of the like, council flats working class? Because I, I got to tell you, I, I, got, I had nothing but love for them. <laughs> I got, I'm like, these are good people. <laughs> like, these, are, these, are, these, are, these are correct people. Oh, it wasn't, but it was painted as such by the media and producers. Okay, so that's, yeah, see, I didn't see, I didn't see that perception of it. So that, that at least, yeah, okay. Yeah, because, I mean, the show is brilliant. I mean, it, it's, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I love, that show is great. <laughs> that's like hardcore slice of life shit. It was funny as fuck and sad as fuck and joyous as fuck. It was a very well written, very well acted show for all of its foibles and flaws, I'm sure. But it was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed Shameless. <clears throat> One unfortunate issue with everything open source, I forget the fine details, but I think it was about the human genome sequencing. A lot of people were working on it in a slower, more methodical way. It all just got scooped up by big exploitative corporation. Yeah, I mean, it can happen, but we will, for the foreseeable future, be competing next to that system. Be aware. You can build your open source contracts better. My work is remixable, it's usable. You can use anything that I create in that manner, but it has at the outset a no commercial clause. So, you know, if my face ends up as the face of a Pepsi ad in Indonesia, homie, Indonesia recognizes IP. I know that Coke's there. So, like, you know, someone gonna owe Pepsi gonna fucking owe me some money. Um, fucking my favorite talk was the lawyer forget his name. You have the right to remain silent. Use it. Uh, problem was that everything Shameless described and sensationalized was all the stuff the media and middle class were demonizing the chads of working class for. That shit was literally in my upbringing. Yeah, see, that's... Yeah, like, that, that, see, that, that's... Okay, so, like, that outside, I didn't get that. I just got Shameless. I, I was never subjected to the media interpretation uh, and propagandization of... So, yeah, I was like... Uh, because that that show was 
I thought I thought treated the the, the true working class blue collar and the the council estate sort of peasantry with a uh, a loving touch. Yep. Uh, nightmares. Yeah, nightmares. Overall, though, I feel open source is still the way we need to be sharing the shit is hurting stuff like cancer research because it's all made of, with, uh, made of humans with egos, people who want incomes. Yeah. Our system's broken. But that's sort of why I, you know, the one, one of those, one of the weird fucking beacons of hope that I have is because I'm a technologist. At my heart of hearts. I like I like high technology. I like the information age. I like all the, the the fancy gadgets and stuffs. We need to get better at manufacturing it. We need to get better at resource management. We need to get better at like, you know, the down chain. But I mean the truth of the matter is is that's because capitalism, basically. We you know, but we as consumers can influence that and we should where we can. But yeah, I, 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 I would rather see humanity with high technology than without, um, as far as like primitivists go, I'm the other side. I'm, I'm a technologist and a transhumanist. I, I, I do not believe in return to monkey. That's. I'm the other team. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to do this Danny Masterson thing. Uh, <laughs> it's it's insane. Um, all right. What exactly does a technologist do? Uh, depends by whose de anyway, uh, anyway, uh, depends by whose definition. But they sort of um, they sort of occupy a a, a, a a zone. I don't know between engineer and artisan. Um. They're the people that. Form, fashion, build, believe in, think about, theorize, idealize what we would generally recognize as forms of high technology or information and electronic age technology these days. Um, because, well, there's not many, you know, there's not much call for a Bronze Age technologist. Um, I'm sure a few of them exist in museums and such. There's always, we always keep an expert or two li lying around. Collegiate. What's up, Mods911? Uh, I want decentralized manufacturing down to the processor level. Ha uh, home nanofab, want. Dude, tech support, yeah. And you could already see the arc happening, right? Um, 3D printing and the, the like, that that will start pushing um, that, that, that has already, that is an already a demonstration that the higher technologies, the electronic technologies that we operate today are destined to have the same manner of p potential, um, as like anybody who understands carpentry or electrical work or plumbing, um, who can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or the, you know, if your, your local, uh, hardware store hasn't been destroyed by Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace Hardware, I suppose. Uh, if those haven't been destroyed, you should probably be going to those. Um, but like anybody with that knowledge base can go in there and just like bang something out. All right. Like the, it, it seems that the, the arc is still headed that way that we're not just because this stuff is weird and complicated. Now, everything was weird and complicated at some point. We want to get it to the point where it, it's in like a handyman task to just do a thing. What you need. You need a gazebo. Cool. What you need. You need a GPU. Cool. 
Like, that's, we will want to get it to that point. Yeah. Ugh. Ah, uh, Kvass, I need to fuck with uh, 3D printing someday. It's fun. It's frustrating, but it's fun. Uh, you know, some people go whole hog. Um, Astral. We were not close to a lot of stuff for a lot of time. The pace of technological development is speeding up. We know that. So... Yeah, it, it's still a long ways out, like, but tomorrow it's even closer. It's, you know, it's like that. It's, it's following a, pr a procession that is trending upward, shall we say. So, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Somebody, some fucking brilliant dude who just has a moment in his garage will be like, holy shit, you know you can just do this? And that'll become standard at one point. That'll just be adopted because it's a better idea. The dude will go and fucking, you know, next it or whatever the fuck the next version of Reddit will end up being when these idiots shoot them of themselves fatally in the fucking groin one day. Um, you know, some dude will jump on the internet and be like, holy shit, I figured out if you just do this, then we can skip three steps, right? Like, you know, something will happen. It always does. Somebody will put in the work. I saw, uh, I saw some brilliant, like, additional axis work. Like, basically, like, CNC fucking arm shit. Um, having the plate mounted that way. Fucking, so it's just not, but then this could, you know. Oh, it was, I was like, that's, yeah. there And it's precise. It was super precise in, like, you know three-dimensional space as to exactly where that fucking nozzle head was. Yeah. Ah, good on you, Kaiser. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, it's... Dude. Um, I, I believe in it. Like, I believe in technology. I think I, I've seen the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and I've spent a life eating this stuff, and it's like, you know what? Yeah. Makes everything better. Makes everything better. Just, you know, learn to walk away from it. Learn to take you, the, the turn off the hive mind. Don't live with it on 24-7. But, like, you know, once you find your moderation level, come on. Uh, it is some fancy collision of wind. If anyone wants to learn about it, by the way, I recommend Chavs, The Demonization of the Working Class by Owen Jones. That should be a documentary. That should just be, dude, I want to, so there's just shot after shot after ch of Chavs. Fucking, just fucking, yeah, that should be a documentary, rather. Um... Yes, tech support. It would be amazing. Yeah, if you um, if you store it, uh, store the film correctly, dude. Microfilm uh, stands up to the test of time as author. Yeah, dude. Archivists are a thing, dude. Archivists. Uh, see, that's the thing is the medium doesn't. For me, microfilm is still of that. Like you know, dude. That's definitely not industrial. Um, or rather, what would I rather say? Um, Pre-industrial. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I like archivists. Archivists are fun because they operate in the digital era as well. And so like, you know, they do, uh, archivists are super interesting people. And yeah, they're the, the kinds that like, yeah, some of that shit's on microfilm. 
<clears throat> uh, I should. Okay, I'll give you the correction and uh, on the uh, on the fly. Impossible. Literally editing my porn archive while hanging out in a stream. Tech is dope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Aspen, dude, I want I want a command and control system that's just handled by an AI. I want it like see this is the thing, it's like I want I know all of this can be done securely. I know it can. I want I want like I want market permeation of a properly secure, none of this bullshit fucking backdoor cloud nonsense fucking I just sell me a fucking system that you know, and I'd be on board. I think a lot of people would be on board. I built my own. I'm not kidding you. It's a pain in the ass to do. But I I have, like, you know, voice controls. Siri goes through a fucking Raspberry Pi that's fucking loaded up with a whole bunch of stuff that interfaces with the, the Apple kit. And so, like, that hits that, and that's in control of certain things, and all that is connected to uh, a fucking um, another Raspberry Pi that's running a web service that's connected via Bash script to a bunch of stuff. But it's all air gaps, right? Like, I, I can, you know, work on this internally. Night dig. Ah, uh, we be nerdy. Are you an archivist, Zach, uh, Zach Arthur? We can preserve it for up to 500 years under certain control conditions. Uh, TV did that. Docu-series and painted all council estate tenants as benefit fraud, committing lazy, not wanting to work, etc. Etc. She's maybe ignoring the fact that those communities were a direct result of the deindustrialization under Thatcher and Blair. Oh, Thatcher, the gift that keeps you are an archivist. Oh, I adore you types. Um, yes, archivist. I, I, I admire anybody who's dedicated to the preservation of knowledge. That's, yeah. At this point, once we enter the information age, the fact that we recognize the value of information. I think this should be a global task. I think that we should never let anything go. I think there should be a global archive. I think it should be as, as permanent as we can build it. Um, I want the highest technology and I want it like, I want like a permanent archive of human existence. I want us to back up as much as everything we can and keep it backed up and backed up if you know two three times if we can do it right like i want it i we're in the information age like there, there's a there's an intrinsic value to information sets we should be we should just be documenting everything and all the time that should be a, like a number one goal is to preserve information that's why pr proprietary and like trade secrets and stuff like that is toxic that's all human information None of that should be walled off. That should all just be in the archive. Period. For all of humanity to consult. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm down for it. Same, back it all up. I'm a history fanatic. Yeah, I call myself an archivist when I want to be fancy, but I'm just really a data hoarder since Jay. <laughs> oh, I love that. I've got tendencies as well. Um... Put it in the Akashic vaults. Yes, I, I think we should. I, I believe that. I do. There's too much value in it. Which prediction, in your opinion, was worse? Tim Pool, 49 states landslide. Um. Hassan, Russia will not bomb Kiev. Oof. <laughs> Did he? Okay, so what's the context of the Tim Pool one? 
Like, was was he saying like Trump was going to be get reelected in a forty nine state landslide or something? What's the context of the Tim Pool one? Because I I get the context of the Hassan one, and I'm guessing they're both true. Um. He just thought Trump would win every state except Colorado. Interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tim Pool's quote, Tim Pool's prediction is a swing for the moon. That's a swing for the moon. The Hassan one is some shit he never should have swung at in the first place. That was some garbage crap coming across the plate. And Hassan fucking swung at it like a goddamn moron. Tim Pool was aiming for the stars. <laughs> he swung and missed like a motherfucker. I mean, just... But he was swinging, baby. Hassan... That's a garbage fucking swing and you know it. So. It's a stupid bet too. As, as, the, as the resident Vegas resident. Yeah, that's a fucking shit bet. Fucking. Yeah, no idea why Colorado either. Yeah. I mean, it's Tim Pool making a fucking prediction that Trump's going to win 49 fucking states. I mean, you looking for consistency and logic now? <laughs> that's that's a little... Uh, that's asking too much. Um, factual welfare television. Jesus Christ. Uh, actually, I do want that link. <laughs> uh, fascinating. Oh, University of Leeds. Fascinating. Um, has followed suit. Of course he did. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, Alex, yeah, Russia's totally fucking, they've been doing that for the last few days. They had, like, a minister, they had somebody from their, like, Channel One News. Um, they've been doing that. They've been, like, nuclear war. Like, one of the fucking state media people straight up, like, you know, was, I, I think it was the Channel One fucking dude. Um, straight up said, like, you know, uh, you shouldn't be afraid of, like, nuclear war. We all die sometime anyway. Like, it's sort of the most blasé Russian fucking take about nuclear war. Like, yeah, you shouldn't be afraid of nuclear war. We all die someday anyway. In this throw of you. Um... I'm really putting my chips down on how Russia's not going to use WMDs at all because it's too easy for Russia. They want to want to personally splatter people with his points. It's kibos. Uh, impossible. It's funny. Hassan got my algorithm to feed me more political stuff, but it did move off his content once I was in the political algorithm. Uh, you know, I can honestly say, I've, like, dude, I've, the amount of Hassan I've seen, like, the only Hassan I've seen is, like, some random clips of, like, I, just him in a room, I think. And then the one time I've actually watched any decent amount of him was when he was here in Vegas at the coffee shop, at the Starbucks. Not even a good coffee shop. He was at a fucking Starbucks on the Strip. Ugh, we have some good coffee shops here. Um, he fucking... <laughs> Like I said, I hate this fucking city, but I don't let people, like, shit on it. It's like, dude, homie, we actually have a lot of really good shit in this city. <laughs> There's a lot of perks to living in this shithole. Um, fucking, but, like, yeah, he went to a Starbucks on the strip, and Beast was hooking me up with this information one afternoon. I was, I was for a moment, I was contemplating just walking up on Hassan. <laughs> People goes up. That's <laughs> fucking, they streaming right at the strip. Uh. Oh, I did put hot or not. Oh, fucking A. I, I, for com complete, dude, Marcus. Yeah, <laughs> dude, completely spaced that shit. Um.
Yeah, y'all got food and more food. We got everything here. We got everything. Dude, everything's got a price, everything's got a value, and we'll sell anything for a price. Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude, this is it. This is Ancapistan. Vegas is the closest fucking you can find in the U.S. There's other places that definitely are contenders, but for the U.S., dude, this place is Ancapistan. It straight up is. This is this is capitalism given like true and the closest to true form that 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 you can do while still pretending that this shit is operable within the greater system of you know legal democracy and blah blah blah. Uh, I just figured that Incaps would just be a place ran by a casinos anyway. Yeah, I mean it kind of is. At the end of the day. Uh, closest functional. <laughs> um, I just want to follow DA. Uh, all right. So, all right. If I wanted to do a hot or not. Um, I would have to find Marcus in my DMs and then I would need to ask y'all if you wanted to do European, Asian, or Middle Eastern. We're doing Middle Eastern dictators and strongmen, Asian dictators and strongmen, European dictators and strongmen. So y'all can pick Europe. Asia or Middle East? Um, you see the drama shit? I spent like three days. No. Um, no. Oh, yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense, Alex. Yeah, that makes sense. Beast. <laughs> Oh, pick your favorite race, everybody. Um, kind of want to do Asia and get to look at the Dragon Prince again. Uh, Europe. Europe, more hilarious and ugly. Aspens as Alex makes a good point. Um, let me let me cheat. Let me cheat. I'm I'm pulling it up now, and I'm just gonna look at it. I I don't know any of these motherfuckers. I don't know any of these motherfuckers. Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> There's gotta be a Hitler in here, right? <laughs> There's got to be a fucking Hitler. I'm missing a Hitler. Wait, <laughs> uh, wait, wait. I think I, I think I found him. <laughs> I'm missing a Hitler. Is anybody missing a Hitler? Oh my god. I don't think. Are you fucking with me? I, I don't. I don't think I have a Hitler. I don't think I have a Hitler. Oh, you're just fucking with me now. Uh, you tried to exclude the one in Amaris's list. <laughs> no Hitler's missing. <laughs> Looks behind sofa. Nope, not here. Check between the cushions. Oh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> missing Hitler. Uh, I don't know any of these motherfuckers. All I know is there's one that can get it, like, right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. This motherfucker can get after it. And I'm, I'm, it's gonna bite me in the ass. I know it's gonna bite me in the ass. I just, this motherfucker, this motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Um. Fuck. <laughs> 
All right, Europe. European dictators and strong men. Ain't none of this fucking ringing any bells for me. But... I mean... Come on. That's, I mean, it's a good looking young man. Oh, we're doing an S tier. All right. I got five fucking ones to work with. Oh, actually, that'll make it easier. All right. Tell me how evil I am. Who is this motherfucker? Does anybody know? Like, does anybody know? Marcus, shut your fucking filthy lawyer mouth. Boy, does anybody else know? Shay, I mean, it's European dictators and strongmen. Of course, it's just random royals. No, I, Lexi, you, Alex, you don't have to go looking. I, I have the answers. I have the answers, dude. I can I can cheat like straight up, um, dude. That's got some like British forehead vibe, um. Jesus, all right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This 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 priest looking motherfucker right here. What the fuck? This howdy doody looking fucking. I mean, oh god, what did he do? This motherfucker looks like he'd be on Leave at the Beaver or some shit. He looks like the wholesome, like, older brother in some, like, 50s American sitcom or some bullshit. Right? Like, that's fucking... Uh, he probably ran the choir, right? Hold up. Someone tell me fucking Degal is in there somewhere. I... <laughs> go... Comer pile. I, I I don't know. Fertouche, you tell me. I don't recognize any of these motherfuckers. Alright. I mean, he's like, look, look, he's, 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 this motherfucker's just stabbed a bitch. All right. This motherfucker stabbed a bitch, but he's a good looking dude. I'm going to put, he's not, I mean, this dude's, he's got, this guy's got something. He's got something. He's, he's just, you know, I mean, yeah, you're right. Kid, kitty did like, was probably a good assumption for any Catholic looking priest motherfucker, right? Like, yeah. Oof. Homie, homie, leave them kids alone. You know what? Can we, um, how do we? Oh, boo. I don't, you know what? I'm not fucking around with it. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Don't care. Don't give a shit. Never created a tier list. Don't even fucking, uh, don't even know. Either way. Okay. You're a doofy looking motherfucker. Um, oh, it looks like the Fertus and Marcus have uh, sorted that out. All right, dude, this is, you're right, this is rough. Dude, this, 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 this fucker isn't even like, I, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, um, oh shit. I need to, I need to find someone to put between them. He looks really young in this, um, uh, hey, hey, five head, come on, do the world a fucking service and get between these two. Um, oh, okay, cool. Uh, wait, let me try it. Wait, the wheels allow. Mm, ah, there we go. Um, add a row below. There 
There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I just... There we go. There. There. I've, I've separated... I've separated the kitty diddler from the kid. Just... I, I got him in... I got him in separate rooms. It's, it's all good. It's all good. All photos are for people uh, are people age 18 to 45. Well, you know what? I'd card this fucking kid. All right, I would card this kid. If my gut tells me to fucking card this kid, I'd kill, I would still card this fucking kid. So, as far as I'm concerned, that motherfucker's under the age of 18. So, <laughs> thank you, Alex. Yeah, I mean, just you know, a fucking. It's not really an F rank. It's just a gah. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, um, the, the, the kid is Willem, Exa William Alexander, the Netherlands, 2013 to present. All right. I gotta, I gotta, who's the priest? Who's the fucking priest? Who's the hottie? King Philip of Belgium, 2013 to present. Okay, so he's not... Okay. All right. All right. Um, okay, so... Um, all right, who's the... Who's the... Who's the kitty diddler? Who's the kitty diddler? Um, why am I not seeing the kitty diddler? There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so that would be His Holiness Pontifex Maximus Francis the First of Vatican City, 2013 to present. Kitty Diddler. All right. Fair enough. I was, I, you know, yeah, we were right. We were right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <laughs> never trust a priest named Maximus. I mean, never trust a priest. <clears throat> I mean, unless you're into it. Just saying. Uh, all right. So... I mean, this guy's got kind of like a, a, a fucking college professor vibe. Like, you know, liberal arts college professor vibe. He's probably murdered like a million slobs or some shit like that. Um, fucking, let's see. I mean, you're almost going in the guy territory with this photo. This is, did you, this is, you're not helping your case. Yeah, he looks like he enjoys a good joint, right? Like, I don't know. I think he'd probably be, you know, it'd be a, it'd be a good, it'd be a good romp. Right, this is this is rough. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, this is. God damn, y'all just need to. Y'all need to interbreed a little bit. <laughs> Europe. Europe, you need the immigrants. You need the immigrants. Just believe me on this one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. All right. I'm going to need to blow that motherfucker up. Where is he? I want to see him. There he is. Oh, Jesus. You know what, homie? You still get it. Um. Oh, yep. Yep. Your descendants and their lack of anemia. Well, thank you. Are you advocating for white genocide? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Um, 
fucking, have you seen what our monarchies were all fucking interbred? I know, I know, you're fucking, there's a lot of inbreeding going on over there. Y'all need some just injection of hot African cock. I gotta be, I gotta tell you, that's just what you need. You need to go back to source for a minute. Uh, I'm with you and actively doing my part since Amherst. Um, so... Um, this motherfucker right here is like, he was like the king of Serbia. So I knew I was going to get to drag, get dragged into some Balkan shit eventually. Fucking too bad cat's not here for it. But yeah, apparently that motherfucker is like the king of Serbia or something. Uh, he, King Peter, the first of Serbia, 1903 to 1921. So I'm sure he did some shit that led up to tensions in the region and descendants of like, you know. Um, yeah, no, you, you need a, a, a refresh, Alex. <laughs> my mom's, my mom's people were whores. <laughs> they were banging everybody. <laughs> they were banging everybody. My mom's, my mom's people were like, yeah, my mom, on my mom's side, just a little bit of, a little bit of everything. They were, they were, they were, they were wanderers, shall we say. Um, yeah, <laughs> it just you guys need a little bit of a refresh. There's some, uh, there's, there's at least there's one back there. There's 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 some Native American and there's a uh, there's a black dude, like on that side of the family. Like they're, they're like yeah, fucking new world, new me. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, so. Maybe a genocide or two. I mean, you know, we all, all of our ancestors at one point or another got, got their hands dirty in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> we all be doing some shit historically. And don't forget, we're all of the species. Over here, our family tree is at least more branches, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I know, Alex. I'm saying after that... Y'all need to catch up. <laughs> Get you some fresh dick. Um, y'all been y'all been riding the same old tired European dick for too long. Get it. Get a fresh boner in there. Get a replacement dick. You can do it. Um, yeah, yeah. Y'all need to re up. <laughs> uh. You haven't you haven't paid for your subscription to hot <laughs> hot not European dick in a while. Um, I don't trust anybody's claim of family history. At some point, someone's parent cheated and lied about their father was raped and still brought up the child or something. Oh yeah, excellent, dude. There's tons of that shit. Dude, there's tons of that shit. That's dude. Come on. There's all sorts of malfeasances, shall we say? Homie, I, I, I'm, you'll be safe. Don't worry. The kitty diddlers aren't going to want you. But homie, I don't know what to do with you. Every time I come down here, it's just that fucking face looking at me. Asians know how to fuck, man. There's not a billion of them by accident. Right? Like, that's, that's, that's some shit. Asians know how to fuck. Two point five, good enough. Once you're in the billion, oh man. I mean, he's kind of got bedroom eyes. All right, so I gotta decide. Where's the Where's the line that I draw? Where's the line that I draw? D and below can't get it. D and below can't get it. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm counting India in there. Um, all right. All right. Oh, hey, you know, you know, you're fucking boring looking. You fucking, I, who is this boring looking motherfucker? Um. <laughs> really? Really? Holy shit. That's Lukashenko. 
<laughs> That's Lukashenko. Oh, uh, I can't change it based on my knowledge of him. I threw him at a C. I'm going to leave him at a C. Hey, fucking dude, boring motherfucker. But at least in that photo, yeah, he can get it. Fucking A. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. He looks like he put in some work. He looks like he, like, I don't know, something about it. It just, he looks like he's got some vigor to him. Yeah. Yeah, he feels like he, 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 he could get after it. Apparently he got tired of being called boring. Uh... Think of the mustache rides, right? Yeah, like it's, it's something about him just is like he's gonna put in some work. Going out, right? Possible drip stash. <laughs> um, oh god, I feel like this dude's gonna read me poetry afterwards, which ah, is always obnoxious. Um, but I wouldn't bang a dude like him anyway. Well, if I wouldn't bang him anyway, oh god, yeah, I gotta tell you, it's not. It's just the fact that he he legitimately looks like he'd be like fucking quoting Keats or some shit to me. I, I don't know, like you know, yeah, like I, I I. It just. He seems like he's gonna be really annoying as soon as he comes. <laughs> it's my hand or not list. I get I get the right to be a catty gay sometimes. Um. Go always bring a gag. I mean, God, he'd cry. He'd cry. I mean, look at him. He'd cry. Who is this? Who is this young child who would just be... Uh, King Peter II of Yugoslavia. Uh, I don't know what what happened to King Peter II of Yugoslavia, but wait, how, how long was that run? Where is he? 34 to 45. That's not a long run. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, this is work now. All right. Um, He's got some swag to him. He's got something looking out at you from under that fucking hat. Get, get back here, bitch. Hmm. He's got kind of a... Alright. I want a bigger picture of him. He's got kind of a fucking... Um, a DiCaprio vibe to him for some reason. He kind of does in a weird way. I mean that's that's a that's an unfortunate name. It's not a very long run either. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Engelbert Dollfuss, the Austrian uh, Austrian fascist leader from thirty two to thirty four. It's like that sideways DiCaprio like smirk meme. That it reminds me of. Um, all right. This is, this is, we're just going to speed round some of this, I think. Oh, man, there are a lot of motherfuckers I would not, f I would not fuck in this list. Jesus Christ. This guy reminds me of Giles, uh, from Frasier, I think. Uh, or whatever the, Niles, Niles, not Giles, Niles. This guy reminds me of Niles from fucking Frasier. Um, all right, this guy's a serial killer. He's just, he's going to eat you. I, I don't know what the fuck his deal is, but he's going to eat you. He's just, ah, Stay away from that, dude. Um, all right, you you might put in some work. Oh, God, you're not good looking, but I mean, you're not great looking, but I mean, you know, you fucking, you'd probably, you'd probably appreciate the lay. Um, oh, God, this guy's gonna be boring and just lay there. He's too fucking. <laughs> Aren't you happy to ride my dick? Um, who is he? He he annoys me. His face annoys me. Who is he? Henry Grand Duke of Luxembourg, 2000 to present. Yeah. No, that feels right. That feels right for Luxembourg. 
fucking tax haven bullshit that it is. It's not even a real fucking place. It's just a tax haven. Fuck it. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jesus. Um, all right. Um, you know what? You might slit my throat afterwards, but you probably be a halfway decent lover. Um, fucking, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That guy's going to murder you. <laughs> He's for sure going to murder you. Um, don't trust that guy. Um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh God, he's got like, uh, okay. That guy you see outside your window. That's just, you open your, you like blinds and you see him. It's just, you see him all of a sudden. Um, uh, fucking. All right. All right. All right. Um, is anybody above the line? Is anybody above the line? That's that's the question you need to ask yourself. Is anybody above the line at this point? Um, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I probably would. Um, all the rest of these are D's. Oh man, I'm, 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 yeah. All the rest of these are D's. Um, yeah, the, the just just every last one of these fuckers here. I'm not. I mean, we can fucking do it if we want. I guess I'm, I'm fucking here. Yeah. Just, just no, just no. All right, no, D can't get the D. And God's just fucking, dude. All right, this guy, this guy's gonna straight stab you. This guy's gonna stab you and eat you. This guy's gonna stalk you like for real. He's gonna be outside your bedroom window. This motherfucker isn't even a human being. He's some shit Dr. Frankenstein cooked up. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Golem over here. And we already know about what's going on here. So, fucking. All right. So, what do we got? What do we got? We've got... Okay, so Hottie was King Philip of Belgium. Um, fucking 2013 to present. Nope, Marcus, they're all... That actually made my life easier. That, that, that made my life a lot easier. Um, <laughs> fucking, all right. So who's, who's good looking, but creepy McGee? Janos Kadar, Hungary, 1956 to 88. I mean, not a terrible run. Um, all right. So who's the, um, who's the college professor? Uh, let's see. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Prince Hans. Adam the second of Liechtenstein. Oh, another fucking grifter. Another fucking grifter, Liechtenstein. Okay, cool. Um, fucking so he's probably rich too. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, Fancy McGee over here was Persia, King Peter the first of. I'm uh, sorry, not Persia. Fucking Serbia, King Peter the first of Serbia, 1903 to 1921. All right. Um, who is Mustache McGee here? Who's gonna be given the mustache rides? Um, how am I missing the mustache? Am I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's me. Mm, wait a second. One by one by one, I shall look at every one of these photos. There he is. Wait. Yeah. Oh, it's just scaled differently. That's all. Um, that's just scaled differently. It is Philippe Pétain of France of 1944 to 1945. Um, yeah, that's way zoomed in. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So that's uh, Engelbert Dolophus of Austria, uh, 32 to 34. Um, all right, so bedroom eyes here. 
Who's, who's the dude making fucking bedroom eyes? Um, this is Brezhnev. Uh, Leonid Brezhnev. Um, USSR, 64 to 82. Interesting. Um, and Desky McGee was Lukashenko. Um, who's, who's pouty uniform guy? Come to me, pouty uniform guy. There he is. <laughs> Pouty uniform guy is Kaiser Wilhelm. The second. 1888 to 1918. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. This is King Harold the the fifth of Norway. 91 to present. From what I understand, he's at least an interesting dude. Um... All right, this mobbed up Italian looking motherfucker. I've probably just, you know, gotten myself shot there. But um, let's see. Who is he? He's Armenian. Antov, I don't know. Kokinian, Kochinian, Kochinian. I don't fucking know. Either way, he's he's Armenian. Armenia, 66 to 74. Uh, Piton was, uh, sentenced to death. Oh yeah. I remember this guy for the Nazi collaboration. Um, he was chief of staff. Of the army led the French army in the battle of Verdun. Um, <laughs> gay Kaiser. Oh, you said my name. Uh, let's see. Who's our, who's our fucking graduate here? Our graduate is Carlos Lumanis of Latvia, 1918 to 1940. Hmm. It's a solid run. All right. Who's our who's our five head fucking Oh, that's Monaco. That's Prince Albert the Second of Monaco. 2005 to present. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. You got like real money. Fix that hairline. Um so that was Willem Alexander, right? Of the Netherlands, 2013 to present. Um That is King Peter II of Yugoslavia, 34 to, thir uh, to 45. Uh, Giles looking motherfucker is, that's King Gustav of Sweden. Car King Carl the 16th Gustav, Sweden, 73 to present. Um, Henry, Grand Duke of Luxembourg up here like a motherfucker. Um, let's see. That is... This guy is uh, fucking L Lazar Kolesvevsky, Socialist Republic of Macedonia, 1945 to 53. Holy shit. Um, that is Anton Yugov of Bulgaria, 56 to 62. Um, fucking, let's see. Where's Desky McGee? Okay, wait. Yeah, I'm like, that's not that one. Uh, Azerbaijan. He's he's Azerbaijani. Um, as for his name, his name is also Azerbaijani. Um, for anybody wondering, that's it's, that's this this gentleman here, uh, right here, right right here. Um, he, he is most assuredly. Um, yeah. So. Oh. Uh, let's see. Pipe. What are we looking for? Dom Mintoff, Malta, 1955 to 58, then 71 to 84. They brought him back in, it seems like. Interesting. Um. Who's radio guy? General Semel Gersel or Semal Gersel of Turkey, 60 to 66. Um, that is Eric Skiv 
Scavenius, yeah, Eric Scavenius of Denmark, 42 to 43. Ooh, he had a run, didn't he? Whew, I mean, term limits, guys, term limits. You really gotta, you gotta rein it in. Um, let's see, that is Gustav Husak of Czechoslovakia, 69 to 87, it looks like. Um, let's see. Who's our little rough rider looking motherfucker over here? Uh, Marshall Oscar Carmo Carmona, Portugal, 26 to 51. That motherfucker had a run. We got him. Um, all right. This is, uh, let's see. Yeah, Ivan Bodil, Bodil, uh, Moldova, 61 to 80. Um, let's see. Where's our professional photo taker here? Yeah, that motherfucker. What's he look like? <laughs> Why am I not seeing him? Uh, yeah, I have lost another one. I don't know. Somehow, I'm really high. see it though oh there he is peter kolotka slovak socialist republic the slovak socialist republic of 69 to 88 what the fuck is this motherfucker peter kolotka yeah homie um not a fucking clue Oh, uh, let's see. That is Moanis Metaxas. Close enough. It's Greek, 36 to 41. Oh, this motherfucker right here. Ah, uh, okay. That is King Victor Emmanuel III of Italy. 1900 to 46. Not a terrible run, my man. Not a terrible run. Um, let's see. Oh, Jesus. Really? Where is he? Am I missing him up here? Oh, no, he's down here. Okay, so that's who that is. That's King George the Sixth of the UK, 36 to 52. This golem looking motherfucker is King George the Sixth. I, I glanced at I saw him. He was looking at me. I was fucking, I was like, wait, who is this motherfucker? I have to know. He's the fucking British representative. Wow, that's rough. I, God damn, UK. Deputy Chairman of the Council of Ministries of the Soviet Union. Oh, okay. Um, Kolko was one of those that mercilessly slaughtered people at the border. Oh, okay. All right. You know, I mean, you know, it's not it's not new fare. It's not like he's reinventing the game, I suppose. But uh, you know, slaughtering foreigners at the border. Definitely, uh, definitely some old school. Um, okay, so who's this, like, I don't know, Bernie Sanders, Noam Chomsky-looking looking motherfucker over here? Erho Kekakin, uh, finish. Uh, 56 to 82. Um, who we got here? Konstantin Patz, Estonian, 1934 to 1938. Uh, this is Leonid Kuchma of Ukraine, 94 to 2005. This is um, definitely some fucking mobster wannabe reject. 
Uh, Luis Carrero Blanco of Spain, 73 to 73. Oh, that is quite the run. Luis Carrero Blanco. Um, fucking, yeah, I fucking rolled that R. Uh, fucking, he, uh, he had quite the run. 73 to 73. Good on him. That's, um, that's, you know, fucking, he had it. He had it for, he had it for a minute, man. He had it for a minute. Um, this is, uh, Peter or something. It's Piotr, uh, oh, Jesus. It's Polish. It's Polish. It's Polish. Um, yeah. There's lots of, like, S's and Z's and W's and C's and Z's and shit going on here. It's, it's Polish. So, uh, Peter something Polish. Uh, 1970 to 1980. Um... King George the Sixth was Queen Liz's second dad. Died of lung cancer. At what he was king of Churchill and Chamberlain. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Let's see. That is Lithuanian. Jesus. Ah. Uh, Messis Lovis Gedvilas. Gedvilas. Ah. Messis Lovis Gedvilas. Lithuanian, 1940 to 1956. Um, this is uh, Milo Dukanovic. Uh, Dukanovic. Uh, either way, Montenegro. Uh, we got another repeat offender here. 1991 to 98, 2003 to 2006, 2008 to 2010, 2012 to 2016. Holy shit! This motherfucker is like the her like the herpes. He just keeps coming back and back and back. Uh, no, I'm binary. No, we've been doing hot or not. Uh, European strongmen and dictators lists. I, I do. I ain't know. I didn't know any of these motherfuckers. I know any of them. Not a one. Not a one. But um, here's my uh, my tier list. If you want to see it, like King King Philip of Belgium is representing the S tier. Um. Um, and then, yeah, we got Touchy McGee here down. His holy pontifex, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself of Vatican City. Um, fucking, and then we got King King George the Sixth here. Just, god damn, man. Um, who's our serial killer who's going to eat us? Oh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, Radovan, um, Rad uh, Radovan Karadzic, I guess. Um, oh yeah, Marcus, go fuck yourself, right? Like this is fucking, some of these names, the, the, once you get into like the, the, the Slavic region and slide any on further than that, dude, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. My tongue just don't do that. So yeah. Um, Oh, is he, is he, he's, he's, the, he's our, he's our, he's our big genocider. Okay. All right. I mean, you know, fuck it. And then my instincts are spot on then. Fuck you. See this motherfucker. I mean, this, you know, see this motherfucker, keep an eye on your kid. Fucking this motherfucker. I mean, Jesus Christ, just fix that. But I mean, for real, like serial killer looks uh, vibe there for sure. Um, who's this other motherfucker that looks like he's going to stab you after you fucking, uh, you finish up. Um, Let's see. He's going to be a little zoomed out, I bet. Um, fucking A. What am I missing here? Jesus, I'm terrible at this. There he is. Vidkun Quisling of Norway, 42 to 45. A traitor to Norway. What did he do? Is he the is he the actual wait hold on? No, I know this. Hang on. Is he the the, the real He's the he's is he the source? Yeah, he's the source. He's the source. Never mind. I know this etymologically. Yeah, no, I know this story etymologically, but it didn't connect. Then I'm like, oh wait, yeah. 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 Holja. Is it Holja? Uh, fucking Viva, am I close? Yeah, he's he's the source of Quisling. 
Yeah. Um. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so genocidal maniac, act, like, Catholic, can't touch her, um, fucking Nazi collaborator. All right, all right, my instincts are, like, <laughs> um, and then we got an Albanian here, uh, Mehmet Shehu, Albanian, 54 to 80. He just, I'm telling you, that, that motherfucker is going to be peering in out your, uh, in, in your bedroom window and shit. You're going to fucking pull your curtain back and it's like, yeah, the fuck, Mehmet. So, you know, I don't know what he got up to, but he definitely got peeping Tom energy. So, there is the tier list. Kitty touchers and genocidal maniacs and Nazi collaborator collaborators at the bottom. By the way, I would like to point out that I managed to get the Nazi collaborator, the kid toucher and the fucking genocidal maniac into the bottom row without knowing who the fuck they are. So I'm just saying, just saying I'll keep you my, my guts good on keeping you alive at least. Uh, <laughs> and then the Albanian, I mean, Viva's agreeing with the whole, like he's probably going to be peeping Tom shit on you. Right, like Viva agreed. He was like, "Yeah, <laughs> like a Nazi collaborator, a kid toucher, and a genocidal maniac walk into a bar." <laughs> um, they, the bartender looks at him and says, "What can I get you, your pontiff?" There you go. There's the fucking punchline to that joke: a Nazi collaborator, a kid toucher, and a genocidal maniac walk into a bar. That's the Pope. Yeah, your your punchline is what can I get you, your holiness? Um, he did. <laughs> so it's based on historic facts. See, fuck it, dude. My my instincts are good on these idiots. Yeah, without fucking, without even knowing, it's like ah. Oh. Uh, all right. There's the hot or not. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. Trim it out later. Oh. Yeah, I don't. Alex, you don't understand how this works, apparently. He's in the employee of the Catholic Church. Automatic. Like, it's instant decision. Yeah, how do you call yourself a Catholic? Dude, they've been covering for fucking kitty diddlers for, like, ever. Right? Like, that's... It's it's that. Like, I don't give a shit. He's guilt... Like, Rico, this motherfucker. Yeah, I, I don't... Dude, the Jesuits been around for three assassinations of three popes, right? Like, dude, they got they got their fucking blood on their hands too. Ain't nobody getting a pass. Ain't nobody getting a pass, right? Like, Jesuits could have been handling that shit. They used to be the fucking military, the the goddamn Catholics, functionally speaking, for a period, right? Like, dude, they got shit done. What you doing, letting the rest of the organization do, get away with kitty diddling? Then, fucking handle your business. Guilty by association. They're all done. You wear the you wear the collar. Done. Um. How do you call it when you judge a person and what they will do by the way they look? Uh, fucking. I mean, we the idiom is judging a book by its cover, but fucking. Um. Oh, yeah, no. I, I don't give a shit about legality. It's about fucking the ethical framework. Guilty. They're all kitty diddlers. One bad kid diddling apple spoils the bunch. Yes. 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 That is how that works. <laughs> he can have a pass once he throws the diddlers to the wolves. I mean, look. Who am I to tell the Catholic Church their business? But need we, lest we forget, 
Vatican City is a sovereign nation state. It's a city state. Vatican City is a city state. It's a sovereign nation. All I'm saying is if the Catholics really wanted to handle this problem, they could handle this problem with zero repercussions. None. None whatsoever. They are the law. I mean, they're all complicit. They're all complicit. Simple as that. All priests are diddlers, APAD. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. How do you belong to an organization that has such a storied history of genocide and abuse and kid fucking? Right? Like, how do you join that? How do you join that? Right? How do you how do you go around with a straight face telling people, I'm Catholic? Keep that shit to yourself. That's like fucking do my grandparents were fucking Nazis. What do you... Don't share that with people. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Right? Like, that's that's some shit you want to bury. Don't be proud of that. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get how there's motherfuckers walking around saying, like, oh, I'm Catholic. How? Fuck that entire organization. Holy shit, man. 2,000 years, basically, of this psychopathy. Like, Jesus fuck. Fucking Christ. Damn it, we can't take you anywhere. Um, I mean, Aspen, I mean, the Pope is fucking supposed to be the pontiff, right? The ch God's chosen representative on Earth. Knock the kid fucking off. Uh, dude, impossible. Hey, there's some elements of religion that I, I, I find necessary for human beings. I think that I think that there's there's lessons to be learned there, and there's stuff to take away from it. But we should be looting those facilities at this point. Yeah, yeah. Like intellectually, ideologically speaking, we should just be looting them whole cloth and be like, dude, look, there's a bunch of stuff that human beings respond to and really like seem to need that we can take a lesson from like the organized religions of the world. And then we just sort of like kick their decrepit fucking ideological corpse down the fucking stairs and just be done with it because like, yeah, there's too much baggage with that. There's too much baggage. There's too much baggage. There's way too much baggage. Just thousands of years of baggage. That's not, we need community. We need communion. We need, we need a sort of like shared experience. Some of us need it to be psychedelic in nature. Some of us need it to be, you know, we all have different wants and needs, but we have that shared need and the, that sort of the communion aspect of, of organized religion. But Jesus fucking Christ does the rest of that shit need to just get absolutely run through the shredder. Uh, what? I'd fuck the entire Catholic Church, but I'm not a kid, so I don't think they're interested in me. No, no, that's fine. No matter. Um, religion can give people purpose and community. Of course, there's secular ways to achieve those too. Yeah, I, I. We just need to do it better. We just need to do it better. That's all. There's a bunch of stuff in those buildings and in, in those ideas, right? That are worth something. They're worth something, but. All that other shit, it's got to go. It's got to go, man. Apparently, Haz's last stream was, call, uh, was called the Anti-NATO Communist Super Soldier. That was what it was titled. And his, um, his, his, um, I'll just show it to you. I'll just show it to you. Red Info Warrior with him in a weird red outline with a katana. Hazard.
Hazzy Boo. Hazzy Boo. Oh. I see bigger badasses on Mon Ninja shit. I yes, yeah, peak LARP, peak LARP, peak LARP. That is that is like the next. That's the next evolution of LARP. I'm gonna challenge him to a kendo match. This guy's here. I do anything to avoid being that cringe as possible. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. The, the Irish fucking baby shit. The fucking sewers filled the fucking with baby corpses and septic tanks filled with fucking... Uh, yes, Alex. Yes. I, I just... How? How does one call yourself a fucking Catholic with all the... That's it. Magdalene... Uh, the Magdalene laundry shit. Yeah. Um... I mean, that's a valid use of it, Alex, but, the, you know, the context was like, you know, uh, was fucking, I'm a Catholic, comparing that to walking around going, I'm a Nazi, you know, it's, it's just, you know, yeah, the, con the, c the context that your partner's applying is, is correct. Um, let's see. I don't have anything. Um, oh, yeah, there was the fucking... Yeah, did you know Marjorie Taylor Greene apparently called um, called the cops on other kids for having parties because she wasn't invited? Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene, like, was that kid. Like, she, she apparently was such a cunt in high school. Nobody would invite her to parties. And she there's at least one incident, like, apparently... she. She legitimately, yeah. She called a, she called the fucking cops because she didn't get invited to a party. Uh, yeah, dude. Imagine being that person. Imagine being that person. Holy shit. Oh, that's that's a that's a that's a that sucks to suck. Exactly, dude. Kaiser, Jesus. Wow, and I thought I was bitter about never getting invited to parties. Dude, dude, that, that's that's a whole other level of caboose. Like, imagine being that person. Fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, she's she's Jewish space lasers, right? That's not Bobert. MTG is Jewish space lasers. Bobert and MTG are fucking merging in my brain as a singular entity these days, but green is the Jewish space lasers. Okay. So that, that's, that's what that becomes. That's what that becomes, by the way. That becomes Jewish space lasers. Like, fucking calling the cops on, on people who having a party that didn't invite you becomes the fucking, the gays are trying to, like, spread their gaydom to our children and fucking Jewish space lasers are sitting in California on fire. <clears throat> cool. Cool. Good to know. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, Caboose. She is. She literally wants to ruin other people's fun because she doesn't have any. Because she's a boring cunt. It's an absolute boring twat of a human being. So. <clears throat> yeah. She literally is, is that proverbial bitch who walks in the room when somebody's having fun and she just wants to ruin their day. Bobert is the insurrection to her guide. Thank you for keeping it straight for me. Um, I've been talked down to by MTG white women all my life. Yeah. Dude, we all get talked down to. Do you fucking homie? Like, everybody gets it from those bitches. They don't give a shit. Dude, everybody has been talked down to by some MP MTG fucking white woman bitch of a fucking th human being all our lives. Like, we've all experienced that, I think. Like, dude, they're just in the wild. 
that just did do we have an to karen's she's a fucking carrot like she, we all know that personality type which is like god damn I'm so glad we all get joy over her. She's devoid of it. Oh, oh, uh, this is this is brilliant, by the way. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get you this picture. Right now, Fairfield. Oh, so shut the fuck up! Nobody gives a fuck about you. All right, y'all need to see this. <laughs> okay, so Butler County, Ohio. I love this. Butler County, Ohio. The Lakota School Board, all right? So it's it's like the regional school board or whatever, okay? This is a board member of the school board, okay? She has run on a platform of opposing critical race theory objects to hiring the firm without uh, uh, f uh, hiring a uh, firm to review its curriculum without ensuring that both board members and the firm have an firm uh, have an understanding of what CRT is she objects to sexual education content which she claims is already found in Ohio schools and she posts links to such uh, such sites as examples of what she uh, she would find objectionable including content about masturbating sex toys anything taught about uh, besides absolutely Abstinence. One of the links that she posted contained a typo that took directly to porn. Porn. Just straight up porn. She's she's posting porn. This bitch malformed her URLs and she's like she's just posting porn as like evidence of like this is being taught in Ohio schools. And it's just porn link after porn link after porn link. <laughs> um, so yeah, she um, she has been sent. Uh, she has been censured uh, four to one uh, by her school board <laughs> for posting inappropriate content in a public forum. Uh. Let's see. <laughs> she probably yes. <laughs> she was probably the dissenting vote. Um, do I have any plan? Uh, do we not have any plans for International Workers Day on Sunday? Uh, yeah, not work. <laughs> uh, but I mean, in the U.S., no, nah, there's not much. Um. Sure, it was just a reference to the Italian Senate sessions. Don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is kind of. I laughed. I laughed. I laughed. I legitimately laughed. <laughs> this photo is the real one, the one where he looks like he has a soul. And is human. That's a that's his wax figurine at Madame Tussauds. The the one that looks human is the wax figurine, y'all. <laughs> He's a robot. <laughs> He's a fucking alien or a robot or something. He's not human. Look look at that. Tripped me out just looking at him like the wax figurine is the one that looks human. <laughs> What's going on with that? Uh, he's data, but evil. Uh, so, what's the what was data's brother's name? Uh, what's up, impossible? Um, yes, yes, I, I, I have heard that as well about the 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 Kaiser, this the Caesar cut that he rocks. It doesn't help, but. It's more than just the haircut at this point. Lore. Thank you. Um, it's more than just the haircut. That's... 
there's 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 a deadness behind those eyes. There's a deadness behind those eyes. Oh. Uh, I watched the Pennsylvania GOP primary and all of them hadn't lived in Pennsylvania in years. As is tradition. Uh, reads to me as these people are just trying to get in on the money from lobbying the actual work. As is tradition. <clears throat> and Caboose doing the... Actually. Um, actually. Oh shit, I'm gonna get sued by College Humor now. Um... <clears throat> Oh, jeez, really, Axel? Oh, great. It's just, it's just the one manifestation of it. Lovely. I mean, impossible. That's, dude, that's, the Democrats do that shit, too. I don't want to be, like, an enlightened centrist here or anything, but, I mean, the truth of the matter is, is yeah. Dude, there fucking there was some um, race last time. Dude, there was some East Coast race. I want to say maybe it was Virginia or something. Did the Democrats couldn't complain about the billionaire-backed fucking um, candidate that was just a lobbying shell because the Democratic fucking uh, the Democratic candidate was a billionaire-backed lobbying shell. Like it was, there was literally like some race that was happening back east last time around. That that was that was a, a moment. The, yeah, it's like yeah, the Democrats can't say shit about their their billion their oligarch backed fucking shit shill of a fucking politician because the Democrats are putting an oligarch backed shill of a politician in. Like it's just yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, oh, um, yeah, yeah, Alex. Um, oh, fuck. I, I'm stacking the company. Debates used to be a bit better when the League of Women Voters was in charge, but after the Republicans forced them out, all debates have had to be going worse over time. I mean, you know. The Otons. The Otons. Um, I'm head in hands right now. I know the Dems aren't good, but I can't believe how bold faced it is. All of it, both sides. I mean, homie, welcome to the club. How old are you, Impossible? When did you start paying attention, homie? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. Uh, automaton. Auton. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's bought and paid for. It's bought and paid for just whole cloth <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm 32 I've been paying attention for a while but I'm afraid of that was definitely super slow for the last like 8 years that's a, uh, I, that's 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 alright man that's that that that's a timeline that works. Uh, can I ask you a pain related question apropos of the Rona after effects? I mean, I can answer as best as I can. I got the pain side of that covered, but I haven't had the Rona, so I don't know. But shoot, Alex, uh, most of the attention I gave was growing up on John Stewart and Colbert. John did halfway decent work. Armed with my opinion, said I'm voting for Republicans straight down the ticket. Biden's ruining the country for real, for real. Um. What's your, um, your act, like, what's the opinion? Give me, give me, flesh it out for me, man. Flesh it out for me. Look, I'm an anarchist. I don't like Biden, but I definitely don't like Trump, right? Like, I'm, I'm seeing authoritarians all around me here. Um, one of them, at least, is not openly hostile to, like, gay people and trans people and shit like that so for me it's like a utilitarian calculus you gotta break it down further though like cause why what's the change that you think will happen that's that's the better question what's the change by ticket, by voting all republicans what's the change you're looking to actually affect by doing that <sighs> 
Have you ever had a flare up so long and so bad that you kind of wished it was terminal? Because I'm there right now. Dude, Alex, um, neurologists tell small fiber neuropathy patients all the time. This is just fuck. I heard this line a bunch of times. It's not going to kill you. It's just going to make you wish you were dead. That's it. It's not fatal. You're just going to, you're going to wish it were. Like that's the best neurologists tell you that straight up. Like it's going to be a living hell. Welcome to it. So, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I empathize. Um, you know, I, I have a couple of coping strategies I throw at it. But you do what you do, right? I can't stand for long, sit for long, lie down much. Can't roll over in my sleep without waking up screaming from pain because my spine feels like both fire and someone is trying to rip it out. You need like ketamine therapy or some shit like that. Which, I mean, you probably do some ad hoc ketamine therapy, which I would never advocate for because that would be against terms of service and blah, 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 blah. So this is in no way. But I'm just saying that, you know, there is thought there. Um, Biden's just being Mr. Magoo and messing up everything. You're Okay, specifics, man. Like, I don't have the energy to type it all. Well, I can't. I just want sane people back in charge. Like who? Um, and like the Democrats don't even understand economics and only operate on feelings. Um, Clinton was a Democrat and he's the only one that's balanced the goddamn budget in my lifetime. That's my refutation. Now you could probably argue that Biden isn't the same Democrat as Clinton for sure. Like you could argue some drift there, but the only people who have managed to balance the fucking goddamn budget and bring it back in line, if that's your primary concern, surplus, surplus, it's the Clinton administration. The Clinton administration got us a fucking budget surplus in this country. Republicans spend like a motherfucker. Don't let them fool you. They spend like a motherfucker. Every fucking time. Dude, we, we had a surplus for the first time in my lifetime during the Clinton administration. Fucking Bush Jr. Jr. comes in. Bam! Trillion dollar. Trillion dollar, bitch. Like, are you shitting me? So if that's your that's your concern, I'm just saying only one team's put somebody up in the fucking in my lifetime that has credentials in this area that can actually talk some shit. Um, the Republicans didn't siphon off American labor forces and send jobs to Mexico elsewhere, homie. That's the thing. Like I, I'm not for either of these teams, but your team is fucking fucking up just as bad as the Democrats plenty of times I'm a third party outsider looking in going holy shit man like really you buy that cause they're both fucked they both spend like crazy they both just puff, they both puff up their own version of spending Republicans do this shit but they just do it in other sectors the, Rep uh, the Democrats do it what you like to call feels or social spending well the Republicans do plenty of social spending in the form of military related jobs programs. One could argue that, you know, the military doesn't even ask for half the time and they just force on them. But that's neither here nor there. Like you're acting like the Republicans ain't spending like a motherfucker. How's that deficit under Trump? How's that deficit under George Bush Jr.? Right? Like, we had a couple of Republicans recently. How'd their spending happen? What'd that look like? It's almost like the political class doesn't mean a whole lot in this country. And that what actually matters is the capital class. It's almost like politics has been completely infected with money. You tell me Republicans are immune to being bought off? Come on, homie. They all have their price. Like, that's... You think voting Republican is going to magically fix anything in this country? Dude... Talking to a fucking anarchist right now. Okay? Like, I am a post left post anarchist here. 
right? Like I have critiques of the left that you can't even fathom of because I'm integrated in that, in that portion of the spectrum. But you think I don't have problems with the fucking federal reserve? Holy shit, man. Concepts like the world bank, the fucking dude, I'm an anti-statist for fuck's sake. You think the Fed doesn't freak me out? You think the military doesn't freak me out? You think the spending on all this shit doesn't freak me the fuck out? Like... But to, like, pretend to yourself... To, like, lie to yourself, let's be fucking honest and upfront about it. Fucking... Do you think these economic manipulations are happening at the presidential level? You really think that the, the, the boon to corporations that has happened over the last 80 years is because Biden? I mean, he's old. Don't get me wrong. That motherfucker is on a fucking crotchety old motherfucker, right? But, what's up, Dar uh, Starlight? <laughs> fucking, I almost called you Darlight. Uh, fucking, I did Borge Jr. earlier. Um, way earlier in the stream. But, like, yeah, that's, come on. That's just, that's, that's some weird bubble shit that people get into. Red team, blue team, red team, blue team. Dude, they're both fucking you. And it's not really that different either because it's the capital class that's doing it. The politicians are the puppets of the capital class. We know that. Oligarchs run this shit. They always have. Rich and powerful people have always manipulated government for the end, uh, their purposes and ends. Doesn't matter what form of government you're talking about. We could be talking about constitutional monarchism. Doesn't matter. Rich and powerful people manipulate the systems of governance for their purposes. Some of the most powerful people and organizations in our current modern modality of operation are corporations. And the CEOs and the people who are, you know, founders and major shareholders. That's just running this shit. The fucking president of the president and CEO of fucking Bank of America has more financial sway than fucking Joe Biden does at this point. I mean, Biden half the time doesn't even seem to know where he is. Neither does Trump either, by the way. Fucking Trump's still out there bragging about passing the Montreal fucking exam. Montreal mental health exam or whatever the fuck the full title of that thing is. It's the Alzheimer's exam. It's the dementia exam. Trump's just, just, just was bragging about fucking passing that test again, by the way. Ugh. It's both, sh both choices are shit. It's just utilitarian calculus at the end of the day. We got to literally do a line item and be like plus, minus, minus, plus, minus. Because they're both shit at the end of the day. It's just a matter of harm reduction. You pronounced my hometown correctly. Yeah. I didn't know that that was out there, but. Um, so if the if you admit the people pulling the strings are the issue, then how is voting Republican changing shit? You admit the your 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 choice is functionalist. You admit that yourself. You acknowledge that. It's just, look, it's, it's a fucking brand label. They move in and out every four to eight years. People get pissed off at one brand label. They fucking swap in a new brand label. But like, then there's sub forces. There's like the Christian theocrats who are constantly trying to turn this nation into a goddamn the, uh, theocratic nation. And they need tamped down regularly. Because if you don't, you will end up with some shit that you're like, oh, I'm a fucking cisgendered heterosexual white male. Oh, I'm sure they, you ever get a blowjob from your wife? Congratulations. They're coming for you. That's sodomy. That's a fucking crime. 
and it's a crime that's punishable. Like in some of their beliefs, if you're looking at like a Rush Dooney interpretation of dominionism, punishable by death. You get a blowjob from your wife, punishable by death. That's real. That's 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 an actual interpretation of dominionist theology, as uh, in as put forth by R.J. Rush Dooney, um, who is the sort of inspiration for the likes of like Pat Robertson. That's he's trained under Russian. Like that's dude, if you don't fucking conservatives and Republicans in this country, fucking they have no idea the deal with the devil that they made. They don't I don't think they actually understand it. They will come for you too. They will come for you too. You think they're just coming for the queers right now? You think this is fucking healthy, like, oh, it's a stable society? Dude, you have no idea what these people want. They are crazy as fuck. And y'all made a deal with the devil. Uh, less, are you insane? Less war? You have no metrics for less war. Um... See, but all you're telling me is that you're an ideologue. You live in your own bubble. There is no way, shape, or form for somebody at the... What, in your statement, in your statement, you've left no room for nuance. You've left no move position to move. You have boxed your own self in and said, I am an ideologue who has an unopened mind and is unwilling to change my opinion ever. That's what you've just stated. Because there's no world in which anybody could meet you halfway. You've, you have unequivocally said, I will vote all Republicans, period. End of story. That is just done. Doesn't matter what that Republican does. It doesn't matter what the person running against them does in return. You're an ideologue. There's no reasoning with you at that point. There's no point in continuing the conversation at that point, functionally. There's no nuance. It's just, it is what it is, and that's... There's no calculus actually being done. You're not doing harm reduction. You're just checking boxes. Republican, 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 Republican. That's not an informed voter. The Iraq war was supported by everybody, my man. How old are you? The Iraq war went fucking through with flying colors. Except for, like, Barbara Lee. Good old fucking Barbara Lee stood up and said, This is bullshit. What's up, God Punk? That was an easy sell. Of course, Trump's psychotic. Yeah, like both, literally both teams are warmongers. Like, I, how how is this complicated? I, I, it's it just, it's astounding the level of tribalism that happens when people give in to the red team, blue team thing. You know what? I don't think I've ever done that. And it's... We're going to do it. <sighs> we'll double him. We'll double him. That's hilarious, though. Shame on a few of you. Um, we're going to raid out to Carpe. Yeah, we doing it. We doing it. I've got fucking... I got, like, baked chicken and rice... And like sauces waiting for me. Um, and I'm hungry. <laughs> like I, I worked out and fucking came on stream and took a fucking hit. Right? Good hit, came on stream. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. So food, food, food. That's literally 
you do understand, like, you don't get it, do you? I don't have a team. My team isn't represented. You've got way more representation than me. My, 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 my team says fuck teams. Y'all are playing the game wrong and it's getting people killed. You're, you're ethically, you are morally and ethically as responsible for the deaths and suffering of Americans and humans on the global scale as Democrats are. Y'all be fucking up. My team points out y'all's fuck ups because of hierarchy, because of ex extortion and coercive systems of capitalistic natures. Peace.